Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Hero Factory review, and this one is on Slurpees vs. Furno with Evo and Evo XL Machine from 2014. Invasion from below, of course. So, on the front of the bags here, which are the same size as uh, Furno XL and Dragon Bolts from the year prior, of course, but. And of course, the two logos, of course picture of the sets that come within and that nice artwork above of course and also invasion from below obviously and also do get and also showing the two uh, minifigs and jumpers included in each one and then also do you get the age range set number amount of pieces and on the back part you will see Another picture of the sets. Yeah, another picture of the sets and also all the features of which and actual size of the minifigs and the accessories for them, of course. And also and once again some nice artwork on the bottom, of course. But yeah. Oops. Uh, Sorry about that. <coughs> you get the two instruction manuals. Same picture as on the front of the bags and everything. And of course, a little comic strip related to uh, innovation from below, of course. Then win on the online survey. Then large out of all the sets together with the mobile app, of course. And then add of two of the combiner models and another two of the combiner models as well and another part of the comic strip again that's related to the combiner models as well and the pieces that come with the set and the last step Also, mini fake checklist uh, included with this one. Oh, interesting. And then all the pieces included, of course. And so now on to the two mini fakes. So which well, but whereas one of which, but whereas Evo Witch doesn't come included in both sets in this review, and also three total sets of this wave, but Furno of which comes in just two sets for this wave, but then they all did include come in one more set in the following summer wave, of course, but yeah. But, so won't say much for Lisa Witch, and, and, but whereas Evo in this one, and also in both sets, of which does include the blaster from if Alien Conquest, of course, but also of what's exclusive to Furno in this one is that is this flame piece or flame sword piece that we've seen in Ninjako, obviously. Uh, I don't think if he used it in the Nickelodeon episode, but yeah, actually he didn't at all, so not sure why they'd include that, but whatever. Probably to pay homage to. Tahu from Bonacle, of course, but yeah, and also just like Breeze did is have the like trans orange chain, which for them to trip over a uh, splitter beast, of course. So, and not much, and not much else to say, but yeah. Also, in, for EVO XL machine, 
does come with two of the jumpers, of course, one in orange, one in red, common in all of, most of these sets, of course, and of course, just like the classic mini Visorax of Bond, we well, can push on the button and fly, jump right off, obviously. But yeah. So, first of which is with a Splitter Beast, of course. And of course, as you see, it does appear to have two heads, of course, but which we'll see in a moment, in a little while. Also, quite simple for $20, of course, for the $20 range it was at the time, but yeah. And as so now, on to the feet of which, same exact foot pieces that a uh, Flyer Beast of the Wave also had, which carried on into most other sets. And also previously on the uh, Ninjago uh, Mac Dragons at, from the time, of course, and also light blue limb pieces like in Flyer Beast and Thorn Racks previously, and also these uh, leg pieces, kind of similar to that of... Yeah, similar to that of the one that was used on Jaw Beast, of course. Just to, of course, but at least with some more orange added to the to fit into the color scheme, and yeah, and, the, and of course, hold using those two friction joint pieces to add some extra stabi stabilization for the other beast that's on him, and yeah, and also does have the traditional armor piece with the add-on armor piece that has been used since Black Phantom in 2012, of course. And also, one good plus of this figure is good symmetry to him. Whereas this one armor, which is, which does have another limb piece in there, and also do get two of the uh, Savage Planet uh, paw pieces and also get the cloth pieces in trans uh, orange, of course. And for a weapon, he has used has made comprised of a couple of rods to make a lamp post that he nabbed from us on the side of the streets, of course. Just like what, kind of like what, like Flyer Beast, which had a different antenna, which. But, and whereas interesting fact is that that with YouTuber Eli J Brony, uh, which made a little uh, mock that comprises of both of those kind of bits of it, like a simple uh, plate with, or system plate with both of them on it, which you can make if you want it as well, but yeah. Other armor, which kind of the same, but with a extra small uh, or limb piece, which would have been nice if it was an extra long kind as well, but or should have like included these two pieces as well for that as well. Oh, but whatever. And as for the heads of which, same pieces used on like all of the other sets, but one that's in blue and whereas in orange, where which, as you can tell, they're sort of the same pieces, but just flipped upside down, of course, like open in different ways, of course. There's an interesting out one has like four eyes and one has six eyes, of course. And now on to the main feature is how it's called Splitter Beast. Oh, one more thing is it does have tail. It's kind of similar to the other two of which, and also that same piece as well. But yeah. And how it's called that is it can split, of course. Sometimes this Technic piece can get stuck on the others sometimes. So just about like the uh, Toa and Avatar in, in 2008 Bonicle did, and same with in 2016 Bonicle sets as well, but yeah. And as for the smaller Beast of Witch, you can see quite simple, but also kind of skimpy for that. Like, as you can see, the small version of the foot feet pieces, of course, but not sure why I have in black and uh, gray, of course. But I think these are which should have been also in trans blue, like on Jaw Beast, of course. And, of course, size 4 armor piece for back armoring. And 
and arm build, Sim also kind of the same as Jaw Beast, but with uh, translucent orange and bright blue uh, bits added to it, but yeah. And can attach back on like so. And also still using the smallest uh, torso bit that XT4 introduced. But yeah. And also, when together, these arms do kind of act well as shoulder pad, shoulder pad armoring, but yeah. And I guess that is about it with Splitter Beast. And now, on to the last Evo XL machine, which is quite sturdy and quite impressive for this uh, range, of course. And of course, first time of Evo getting to be in a, a larger $20 range for the time, but instead of being in a small range, but kind of interesting how that is, but yeah. So now for the feet of which, just about the same as what uh, Stormer XL from the last and Stormer Freeze Machine both have, of course, and also do get size 5 armor pieces there, and also the uh, armor rat on pieces that we've seen since Breakout, of course. And, of course, a few Technic bits of which make up the lower leg, giving it the chicken leg kind of appearance. And these upper legs, kind of similar to that of previous Titan sets in Hero Factory, of course, but at least a little bit different for this one, obviously. And also you get the size 5 armor pieces again, and also a couple of Exoforce hands to hold different things onto it, and one of which holding the blaster as well. And as for the back part, which if you notice uh, what some call the life counter in the Bonko Glatorian line, but is also used as a handle for this. Is turn this and it makes the front bit of it swivel back and forth. Which, if you remember, in 2016 Generation 2 Bionicle set, Toa sets also did have. So I guess it, that's where it came from. But yeah. And as for the main body part of which, quite interesting, but while also a complex build to it, but whereas the cockpit piece of it, or campy piece, which does have the like Exoforce hand pieces with the lightsaber rocks coming off of it, whereas all the other uh, ones of which didn't have anything like that attached at all. But and of course you can fit Evo into obviously, and let it get these controls. Oh, and also one more thing to mention is. These arm pieces were also reused on Expo in uh, the LEGO Dimensions starter pack, but yeah. And it can fit in nice and well, and yeah. And, that. and also this one, Armor Witch, has the same exact piece that Evil Walker also had, but kind of odd build to it. And if you remember in the Nickelodeon episode, that when Bulk was building up the was building Stormer Freeze Machine, he which added this onto it. It then tells him to swap it with the Ice Blaster, of course. But yeah, and of course, do get a little good poseability out of it, but not from the hand, of course, or a slight bit from that. And of course, launcher, same as the Thornax launchers, and also same since Breakout, of course can pinch together and let it fire like so. Oh, whoops. One more time. And then other side of which is one of those hand pieces that we've seen in Savage Planet good post ability, although it would have been nice if it had a smallish 
a limb piece there so you get full range of movement instead of like that. So it's whatever. And also another one of those uh, armor pieces so as well. So good symmetry for that. And if you notice a loose ball joint, a couple of loose ball joints to there. Since as one of the recommended com combination models, recommends like add bits from the other uh, sets onto it. So, which I think is just a factor of laziness and all of it. Yeah. But as for the top part, so which I see a system, a dish piece there, and also a couple of Technic bits holding flip fire missile goes onto a course. And the course does have be like rocky eye pieces in green that we've seen since Atlantis, of course. And also forgot to mention is does have the like chain built kind of thing that we've seen since like a uh, rock uh, breakout, of course. But yeah, and a whole lot more of the spring load or flick fire missiles in case you lose some. And yeah, and also from the back part, which does have the like cancer piece that's the same as uh. Uh, Rocket self machines in green, but also unlike with most of them, just like Forno XLs or Forno jet machine, in which it's just fixed in place, of course. And, and obviously, like the rest, you can like get your jumpers and uh, stick them into it. But these stickers a little bit different for that, of like bionic arms onto there. And yeah, so nice to have some variety beyond there, of course. So let me get everything together. Okay, then. So, oh, so for my overall verdict, I think these which are quite cool sets for the time. Like, good to see Evo be in a different uh, set form instead of just like short $8 sets, $8 hero sets, of course. And also, good to see two hero minifigs in a set, obviously, instead of just one, obviously, like a couple other sets did. But although Splitter Beast, of which, which may be a little skimpy and small for the price, but I think he should have had a little extra uh, to him, extra stuff to him. Like, obviously, another, like, maybe one of the jumpers would have been nice, but yeah. And also, Evo XL Machine, uh, not much else to mention, but at least came out quite well, but yeah. But Splitter Beast, I can forgive how it came out, and yeah. And so if and, and so now, if you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets, I'd say definitely pick them up. eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that is it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.